Our top story, the battle for Albany County District Attorney. The incumbent DA David Soares and challenger Lee Kinlan face off at the polls in eight days in a primary. But tonight, they were face to face trying to make their case as to why they are the right man for the job. Brandon Lewis is live tonight outside the Holiday Inn in Colony with more on tonight's debate. Brandon. Well, Dory, certainly no love lost between these two as they battle it out with just eight days to go. Things did get dicey as they discussed the Occupy Albany movement and the lack of prosecution for those protesters and other very prominent issues that have faced Albany County in the past eight years. Here's a look at some of the back and forth between these two. We are the capital of uh, the state of New York. It is hard to imagine that uh, in a, at a building that uh, decisions are being made for the millions and millions of New Yorkers that uh, people cannot stand in front of that building and, and express uh, their fundamental rights. Granting block immunity to a certain group of individuals because it may be politically convenient or you may agree with their message I think is irresponsible as a district attorney. Take for example the Porco trial which Mr. Kinlan here is very familiar with. We had leverage resources from the New York State uh, Police as investigators, we leveraged uh, resources from NIPTI. We were able to bring on additional bodies onto that case at no expense of the county taxpayers. And just so we're getting facts straight, I assume you're not talking about me, Mr. Kinlan, but that Mr. Kinlan, because David, I had no involvement in that case. I probably watched it on TV just like you. So that would be your family, your family firm. Okay. Gentlemen, please. We're really excited about talking about our record. Uh, of course, when you're when you're the incumbent, you. Uh, you don't have the luxury of an opinion, you have the burden of proof. And so he can say what, what he wants. Uh, doesn't, I don't believe he understands the function of the office. I go door to door every night. People know, people know that the streets aren't safe and they want changes and they want results. They're tired of empty promises. The primary is September 13th, just eight days away. Both candidates are Democrats, no Republican contender, which means the outcome will likely be decided with this race. Reporting live in Colony, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.